Welcome to Anderson at Ipswich. I'm your host, Dudley Anderson, and this is my co-host, John Ipswich, the drunken reviewer. Today we're having a look at the trailer for the movie The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, which takes place 1300 years after the events of The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. I don't remember any ruins in Narnia. I wonder who lived here. I think we did. I think it's time we found out what went on here. Who are you? I am Prince Gaspian. a more savage place than you remember. that you know is about to change. Well, John, this trailer profoundly confused me. I feel like it didn't um, let me in on what this movie is about at all. I'm, I feel like I'm supposed to be an insider of this world of, of Narnia to even understand what the movie is going to be about. I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm very I, hear confused. You, I hear you. It's like if you read the book, maybe you would know what was going on. or. But I didn't. I didn't read the book, and I would imagine most people... Most people didn't. Well, I don't know about that, my man. This is like a part of a trilogy or something like that, and it's written by C.S. Lewis, and it's got like this whole Christian uh, religious undercurrent to it, you know, like like uh, people that are, are in the church like rave about this book, you know, and, and these series of books, and like they, they're making it into this film. They did the last one, which was The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, you know, there's tons of CGI, it's this epic kind of good versus evil thing, these kids. But yeah, I mean, I hear you saying, it's, uh, if you didn't see the first one, and you haven't read the book, you kinda, it kind of leaves you hanging. I mean, I like trailers that kind of don't spell the movie out, but at the same time, I think you might have a point, you know? It's it just, like... It just looked like this bombastic firework. The only thing, I, it was so yeah. quick. I had to really check it out a few times just to even get a grasp on what's going on. But, like, obviously, a year has passed in the real world for the kids. They come back to their fantasy world. And it's, and been it's a, 1,300 years later. 1,300 years later. Now, that is an interesting premise. I got to say, I like it. Well, I um, think they, they had to do that in, actually, as far as I know, in, in the novel, that is different. But in the movie, they had to, to juggle the timelines because... Uh, they brought back the same children to act in the movie, and, yeah. and they would have been far too old um, if more than, than just one year passed in, in the real world. So I, I think that's actually a compromise. 
Yeah, which I guess is gonna upset the purists. Because anytime they do an adaptation anyway, like, I always hear people complain, Ah, oh, the book was so much better. It was so much better. Well, of course the fucking book's better, because you're using your fucking imagination, and then up here in a fucking movie, you don't gotta, you just sit there, like you're on the toilet, and you watch while they feed you your own shit. Uh, okay. No reason to. All right. Nasty. Come on. You think that little girl's gonna get laid in this one? <laughs> you think well, Prince Caspian's gonna slip her the royal sword? Walt Disney <laughs> Productions. So oh, I yeah. I highly doubt that Why not? there's underage pornography. They fund terrorists. In the movie. <laughs> They, what? <laughs> Come on, it's fucking Walt Disney. They love bombs. Anywho. Anyways, are you are you going to see it? Would you would you recommend? Why are you always going to ask me the same question? Well, I don't know. That's the structure of the program. Know. In I the mean, end, we give a recommendation whether we would go see the movie. I think if I was like fifteen or twelve, I'd go see it. I don't know now, man. It's kind of like. I see the appeal. I see the appeal. I think I'm just out of the fucking demographic, man. Right. You know, getting old. Yep. I'm getting old. I'm getting salty. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Get All right. Salty. So John is passing. Um, I might go see it. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, man.